Today we are going to be running a make automation with Runway ML. So what is this? Well, if you tuned into my last video, we created images based off posts with Flux 1.1 Pro. This is an extension of that. Now we are going to take those images that we created and we are going to turn them into videos. Before I go any further, let me show you exactly what I mean right here. So I put together a little snippet of a post on a medieval castle set in fantasy times. And then it generated this image for me. Like it's literally on spot with what I asked it to do, minus the three moons. It only gave me two, but who knows, in this fantasy world, the third moon might come out in the middle of the day. But I've got my creepy gargoyles. I just, you know, I did a great job rendering that image. So now I wanna take this image and I wanna turn it into a video. So I give it a nice video prompt first person drone fast fly through. So I want to fly through this castle. I want to see it like overhead. Show me all the creepy creepy. Let's see what it came out with for me. It's doing exactly what I asked it to do. There's my creepy creepy gargoyles. It's going up and over. And I just love it. So this isn't the most innovative thing that we've seen. I am not going to bullshit you. Like we, we've, we've seen this before, but now we can automate it based on the images that we created for posts. A great use case for this would be travel. If you work in the travel industry, if you're marketing travel, like you can, like say you're marketing, like for the Caribbean, you could put in images of the ocean. You could put in like, you know, uh, coconut like drinks things like things things of that nature and you can you know make them into a video send those send those out in your emails I know what I do is I take these sometimes and I animate my video uh, my images to become videos and I send them in my newsletters or my one-off emails why because it's different it's just different it breaks things up from the static text and the static imagery and as you go through this i hope it brings you inspiration into what you can do because as i was doing this i know this is long-winded right now but i'm in a marketing spiel so just bear with me <laughs> when i was doing this i realized in retrospect a lot of my clients had asked for things that they can put on their screens when they're not in their trade show booths. And a lot of them were just like, you know, just give me a slide deck and it'll transfer from slide to slide. I mean, I've been seeing that since I was five years old. But what if now you can create them custom images that then become videos and then that can be what is on their screens when they're not there or when they are there and it just brings animation and life to their booth. So those are just some use cases that I've thought of and that I was inspired in retrospect to think of. You know, you heard me talk a lot. Uh, my name is Kelly, uh, by the way. I have an automation school. It's called the AI Marketing Automation Lab. I do tutorial videos on YouTube, and then I invite you to come and check out my school where you can subscribe on a monthly basis and get access to all the templates I create. We have office hours. We build live automations together. Uh, the community is just getting started. Love to have you check it out. But enough of me talking, it's been a minute. If you're still here with me, now we're gonna get into the build. We're gonna add on to our images for post Airtable. This is something we built in my last automation. So let's come up here, and the first field we have to add is called Video Prompt. That's, where, that's what we're gonna name the field. Uh, it's a long text field. Uh, you can go ahead and hit Save on that. Next, we're gonna add a field called Video Aspect Ratio. And this is a single select. Now with Runway ML image to video, you only get two options uh, for the aspect ratio, and that is going to be 16.9 and 9.16. So basically, landscaped or vertical, those are going to be your only two options. You can't do a one-to-one -one square video in this case. Now click Save. The next field we're going to add is called Create Video. And here, this is going to be single select. And we're going to add the options for run and done like we have in our previous air tables. So when we select run, this will trigger the automation to run. And then it will return the video into this air table once it's finished. The last field we need to add is going to be called video output. This is an attachment field. And this is where the video is going to get plopped into once it's created. Now we're going to head over to make and build out our make automation right here. 
So the first module is an Airtable module. You know I like my Airtables. And it's going to be a watch records module. So for here, we're going to connect that to um, our base. Uh, our base is called Social Media Automations. I'm not sure what your base is called, but go ahead and connect that. And then if you've built the table images for posts like we have, then that is going to be the table that you want to select. And the trigger is going to be last modified in this case. Uh, the label field, we use post here, and we're going to put a limit of two because this thing will go crazy, and if we have it running 10 videos, uh, it can get very timely. It takes about three minutes to do a video. Next, we're going to add a filter right here. So click in here, and we want to put in create video, and that is we want to make sure that that is equal to run because if run is there, then that means that the automation will go ahead and run itself. What this is going to do is it's not going to let anything come past here unless it's been tagged to run. So now we have an HTTP module, uh, and that's going to be a make a request module. And this is the one that handles the request going to Runway ML. So up here, we have a URL, and you're going to want to have it say exactly that. That's the exact URL that you want in there. The method is post, and under headers, you're going to type in authorization, and then under authorization is going to be your API key from Runway ML. It's going to come after the word bearer, and you never want to get rid of the word bearer whatsoever. So now I'm going to show you how to set that up. So to set that up on your Runway account, you're going to need to go to devrunwayml.com. You go here. And I already have an account, so you know I'm just going to go log in. But it'll prompt you to set up an account. And like the other API accounts that you do with Anthropic and OpenAI, it's going to be very similar here. Um, you're going to put in a small amount. Um, I put in about $10 at a time. Uh, sign up. You're going to get the API key, and you're going to copy that key. And just like I said, you're going to place it right here behind Bearer. Under the second item, we have to add this exact terminology here, x-runway-version. And this is the value we're going to be using. Our body type is, we're going to keep it as raw. Uh, and then our content type, we want to be JSON. And the request content has to be in this exact formula that you see here. So go ahead and take a screenshot of it and pause this. We're putting in the image URL from our image table, the prompt text, and the aspect ratio. These are all going in as variables. Then click OK. So next, we are adding a sleep module at a delay of 180 seconds. This is what I told you the video might take about three minutes to make. And you know it could act, probably use a little bit less, but I like to give it some time to create these videos. And then we have another make request module. This is the one that's actually going to retrieve the video so that Airtable can add it back. And put this in exactly as is. Uh, this comes from the first HTTP module. The method here is get. We're going to, again, have authorization, and this is where you're going to want to put your API key, once again, behind bearer. Uh, and this is basically the same information here, X runway version, the value is the same. And you can go ahead and click OK. And then the last module here, we're going back to our Airtable. Uh, you're going to want to insert a record. Go ahead and select the base that you're working with. Our base, again, is social media automations. Yours might be different. Then select the table that we just created. That's images for posts. The record ID is coming from the first air table. It's called watch records. We also want to update the field create video to done. We don't want it to say run anymore. So we're going to put that right here. And under the video output field, you're going to select from the previous HTTP module. You're going to select data output right here. See it right there? 
And that's the make automation, and now we're done. All right, now that we built the automation, I showed you what happened in the beginning. Let's run it, and let's see what comes of it. So I preloaded a post on the bustling streets of Tokyo and the beautiful scenery and uh, the culture there. And then I had it generate an image based on our previous automation that we made with Flux 1.1 Pro. And this is the image it gave me. Now something I do want to point out is that AI will generate an image of a city based on what they believe it is. Uh, so this is what they believe Tokyo looks like. So as I mentioned earlier, if you are doing something in travel, maybe don't do exact cities, do something that references what's going on in that city, if they have like water rafting or something along those lines. Um, but here, I really like the image that it created for me. Uh, so I'm gonna work with it. I wasn't mad at it. So now let's run our automation and see what we can do. But before that, I'm gonna give it a video prompt. What do I want to see happen in this image? Well, um, make a breeze go through the trees and make the train, what do you wanna say, run? Make the train run. So now that I put my video prompt in there, I remember we built these fields before in create video, you got run and done. I want this to run. Now my make automation should be ready for me. I'm gonna hit run once and we're gonna see what happens. Our air table picked up the new record. All right, our automation has completed. Let's go see what it has given us. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. Am I a little scared? I am a little scared. We're looking at this for the first time together. What did it do? Ooh, it did exactly what I told it to do. I don't. I think everybody over here is getting run over, but you know, <laughs> and the train goes backwards. But yeah, look at them all. They're gonna. They're gonna get run over. Oh, -doo 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 -doo. Um. But it, it did exactly what I told it to do. I mean, my prompt needs to be, maybe be a little bit more specific for this train. Um, but I'm not mad at it. But, you know, you could always have a laugh at it because it is kind of silly what it gives you sometimes. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Like I said, it's just another image automation, image to video automation that you could build on to the text to image automation that I previously previously did before this video using Flux Pro 1.1 and this video uses Runway ML. Um, what do I have to say about this? Well, I hope it inspires you for use cases in your own life. Try using it in your own marketing. Try using it in your sales. If you want to talk more about this kind of thing, join my school, the AI Marketing Automation Lab. Also, if you got to the end of this video and you're excited about this, hit the subscribe button. I try and put out at least one to two videos each week, uh, and I'd love to continue doing these tutorials and have people to continue learning from them. So thank you so much for watching my channel. I'll see you next time.